the burger is behind us. We have a plot for the story. And we have the basic events that will occur along the way. So why does it feel unfinished? Well, the basic burger is just that. Basic. There are plenty of extras that we can add to flesh it out, to make more than just this basic burger. We have the cheese. And then we have the whole value meal. Well, none of these are necessary. The cheese is an optional part of how the plot unfolds. And the value meal, well, that's all just extras. Don't affect the plot much, but do add to the entertainment value once in a while. So how about it? I think we should try it. This is just a basic test of the whole model. Well, that means testing out as much as possible. So let's start with the cheese. Good cheese, bad cheese. Time for ideas. Good cheese is an advantage you gain early on, but only get to use later. So why not let them discover the existence of these extra spicy, dangerous dishes early on. Have them talk to someone at their new student housing and find out that, oh, you don't want to tamper with those dishes. They're dangerous. Leave that to the nuts who like to play around with. All of that stuff, those who like to play in God's domain, just to make it a little more dramatic. And later on, when they encounter something that clearly has to do with spicy food, they got someone to call. Bad cheese. Bad cheese is the sticky stuff, the stuff you want to get rid of, but it keeps just clinging to you like old gum on a school disc what we got there well they're going into a building that was torn apart during a ongoing emergency situation there are first responders there people trying to contain the problems so why not let them one of them step completely out of bounds and insist on rescuing our heroes as they go into the building, chasing them, demanding to let them be rescued, even while other victims run around in chaos around them, obsessively stalking our heroes with the intent to quote unquote rescue them. And that gives us a simple example of both good cheese and bad cheese. One for each should do it. It's just a test. It's just trying out the model. So one of each should be good enough. That leaves us with the question of a value meal. This is all very extra. This is not part of the main story. This is just added in for entertainment value. So what can we find here? What can we make up? What can we add that actually adds something? The fries are an annoyance. They don't affect anything really, but they do cause some frustrations for our intrepid heroes along the way. They're running into a building that is basically collapsing. 
There are already other victims in there. And our heroes are heroes after all. So why not have them constantly have to rescue someone? Just quickly, just here and there, but constantly. To the point that it becomes more an annoyance than a dramatic addition to the great frustration of our heroes for crying out loud, can these people rescue themselves sometimes? That kind of jazz. Well, that leaves us with a drink. But it's a bit harder finding a moment of levity in the middle of an ongoing disaster. That kind of puts the brain to the grindstone. I'm not sure that's the proper saying, but whatever. Brain to the grindstone. So what can we have here? We're still dealing with silly, so we have options. Who's to say that there isn't some Zen master-like student, probably one of the third years or something like that, who's so accustomed to all the havoc and mayhem of this academy that in spite of the building falling apart, they're just sitting in one of the kitchens trying out their new dish inviting our intrepid heroes in to come and have a taste and serving them some kind of tea that makes them laughably relaxed practically high just tolerating the insanity around them until they sadly face the fact that they have to move on just an interlude nothing serious but maybe they can get some background info, something interesting along the way from talking with this meditation Zen master. Well, must admit, those ideas came easier than I'd expected. Doesn't make for a very long dramatic episode or anything. But I guess that's the whole purpose of a recipe. Make things simple so you don't need to struggle through hours of drama. And if it works like this, then the recipe clearly works.